Hello, Alina Wilson here with Estimate Mastery, and I'm super excited today to talk about what are called note templates in Xactimate. So I'm not sure if you know, but you can save line item or F9 notes under the line items in Xactimate. And even if you didn't know that, I guarantee I'm going to show you one trick today that you did not know note templates could do in the past. So let's go take a look at note templates in Xactimate. And I'm in an estimate here in X1, and you'll see it looks just like an estimate when you're writing it, right? We're in estimate items. We're in the estimate items screen over on the left, and we've got some line items added here. And you'll see a number one next to my note, little notepad icon there. You can also go to your attachments section and it will pull up these notes. This one has been auto added because I'm auto calculating waste, but you can also have user inputted notes. So let's say here for our additional layer of compositional shingles, it's saying that we found an additional layer. Please see the photos for an evidence of second layer. That's something that I as a user have typed in. So I'm going to select a line item that doesn't have a note template attached. So we're going to go there or a note attachment. They used to be called the F9 notes. You used to be able to tap F9 on a computer and this would also pop up. It doesn't work on my PC, but you can try it on yours. F9 might bring this up as well. And then of course we can type in the reason to justify why we're using the line item. So that's what line item note attachments are so good at is uh, describing why you're using the line item. Uh, maybe you need to cite some code or manufacturer specs, OSHA requirements, whatever you need here. Um, like if you have a shower pan that wasn't paid by the insurance company, but the shower surround was, and that shower pan, uh, according to manufacturer specs from, you know, that pan from the 1970s, you can't, you know, uh, put a new surround with that pan. So therefore manufacturer specs, if you can cite those here in a note template, we'll tell the adjuster, oh yeah, that is why we are going to remove the shower pan as well. And vice versa, the adjuster might um, add the waste calculator notes as you saw on my replacement of shingles note. That's being auto added by Xactimate in the background with the auto calculated waste. I've seen adjusters, you know, notate um, ceiling walls, floor, like break up their estimate. That's done with notes as well. You can see I have my supplement items listed below and that will call it, uh, create a break in the estimate. You know, um, if you want to do the ceiling walls and floor, I could go ahead and change this to, you know, ceiling here. So if you've ever seen that on an adjuster's estimate, that's how they're doing it is just adding a note attachment to a, a blank item. So as uh, I can do here, just go in and now I can do floor or whatever you want it to be. You can also, of course, bold, italicize all of that. All of that to say, whenever I am supplementing as a contractor, I always want to explain my supplement items with a note because I need to justify to the adjuster why I'm adding that. So for example, let's say with our sheathing here, the current roof system was found to have greater than a quarter inch space decking. That tells the adjuster to go look for the photos for that space decking, what kind of situation we're dealing with. And you know, I just answered two or three questions from the adjuster preempting those by adding one note template or note attachment here. Now I keep saying note template because all of mine are saved as templates and they're actually saved to my macros. So if you're interested in setting up a macro collect correctly, I've got videos on how to set up a macro. We're going to stay focused on the note templates today. But let's say that I did want to save this as a note template. Um, you will then see here in the same window that I've got these two little rubber stamp tools. So if you want to save the note, there you go. If you hover over, you can see save note and that allow me to go ahead and save this as sheathing or whatever you want to name it as. And uh, you can also pull out the, a new note. So let's say I am on another estimate. We're looking at replacing the sheathing. I could then go to that. Let's say that's the same line item. Of course, it would be blank. We can go into our load note tool here and then it pulls out your big long list of notes that hopefully you'll start creating a database of. So um, big update that I found to be super helpful was they added a search bar. You didn't used to be able to search your notes. I've been asking for this for like eight years, not literally asking Varus, but in the back of my mind, I've been thinking, oh my gosh, how can we not search these? You used to be able to do it by alphabetizing them and things like that, but no, we can now search. So I don't have to go up and down the list anymore. That is a revelation to me. That's going to save me hours of time. So I'm super excited about the search bar there. And then we just search by keyword. That's why it's important to note what you are naming your, your note attachments, your note templates. Uh, be, be aware of what you're naming them. 
that convention, but it should be super quick and easy to find a note template when I need one. So I can find this sheathing that I just saved and there it is. Now I can use it on future estimates. So that saves a ton of time. The other thing that's a revelation that um, I recently learned at the last Verisk conference was that we have access to what are called tokens. So this is more of a high level, very experienced user kind of a thought, but hey, I think everybody should be using tokens more and more than not just the advanced users should know about this. So let's say we wanted to reference a date of loss. Uh, the reason we might want to do this is we want to show the adjuster, hey, this date of loss corresponds with this hail report. You can see that there were quarter inch or greater size hailstones in this area on this date. But to take care of that, so I don't ever have to type that note again, we can type it once. So we're going to go say here, according to the hail report, the loss date of, and this is where your token comes in, Okay, looks like a Texas A&MT there. And we'll just search for date of loss. So let's just search by dates. And it says right here, date of loss. And then um, there was large hail in the area, just to make it simple and easy. So what this is gonna do, whenever I print my report, it's going to key off of the claim info, uh, date of loss here. That's where it's going to grab that from. It's gonna put it inside that note template and it's going to load it. So it acts like a macro in a sense that it is pre-populating things for us. It's kind of a beautiful thing when you, if you can get this organized with your note templates in conjunction with macros, as I spoke about before, a lot of the work can be done for you. So you can see here that we have that note right here, according to the Hale Report, lost date of 8-3-2022. That's an old date, but I just wanted to use a sample there that you can see. It'll pull that date that was from the claim info. So just to clarify, it's going to pull the date of loss. There's many many reasons to use these tokens and the note templates. You can really automate a lot of the specific things that can be filled out here. It's kind of a game changer if you really dive in and take a look at the tokens. So that's something that's higher level that I think everybody should be using on their note templates. So hopefully that was super useful for you. It saves a ton of time so that you don't have to keep typing over and over. I save a note to template pretty much every time I'm thinking as I'm typing, I'm going to probably use this again in the future. I just go ahead and save it because it's not going to hurt anything. It's all there in the database. And now that we can search our note attachments, our note templates, it's a game changer in conjunction with learning how to use those tokens, saves tons of time. And again, go check out that video on macros because I actually integrate the note templates with the macros. So you don't want to miss that extra time saver. But hope you liked the note templates demonstration today, note attachments. If you liked anything in the video, please put a comment down below. And of course, like and let me know if it's something that you're interested in. I'll keep making videos like this in the future. And of course, subscribe as we're going to have more videos rolling out this year. And I'm excited to get back on the train, the bandwagon of getting these Tuesday tech tips over to you. So definitely subscribe if you like this video. My name is Alina Wilson with Estimate Mastery. I specialize in training contractors how to use Xactimate. For more information, of course, visit our website at estimatemastery.com. Hope you have a great week in your business and I will see you next week.